hello beautiful people you're welcome to this channel today so today we'll be talking about how to embellish our achoke ankara um ankara baby children ball gown how to cut out tra lace trimmings for a children ball gown okay you can see this ashoke turning to something else you can design your ashoke with this 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 tutorial after this tutorial you should be able to be making money in different forms not only from sewing guys there's money in embellishment stay tuned to the end of this video so you will see how to embellish your ashoke you embellish your ankara you embellish your children ball gown okay there's this lace trim in order to use for your a child's ball gown and then i went to the market to buy and they said four five when i have okay, a guys. way of creating my you can I see a beautiful our design showcase. guys when um, you're doing it on your own okay hi you beautiful down people and see how we are doing get the, how we are doing welcome back to this you channel down and get the, okay so today we'll be talking about embellishment okay this is our beginner's class and it's going to run for six months after this beginner's class for six months we'll go into our master class right now that master class is going to run for six months and after that six months we'll be giving out certificates okay we'll be giving out grants so please stay tuned on this channel you have a lot to benefit this is a channel that is here to give back to the society i am here to thank god for what god has done in my life and that is to impact lives right now secondly 23rd is my birthday 23rd of this month march to 2024 is my birthday and it will be a massive birthday my sponsors are ready for you guys we are going to be giving out recharge cards for complete one hour so make sure you are sticking to that life make sure you are on that my life on 23rd of march will be giving out air times okay come and take back the air times you used to watch my channel i'm so so grateful the response has been massive just between a month plus i already have 244 subscribers honestly i'm so happy so we are ready to give back to the society now these styles that are really rolling through the screens are styles you can do with lesser cut right this is called laser cut okay and there's a machine for it but if you do not have the machine as a beginner i want i'm here today to show you what you can do to produce your own laser cut styles okay so and it's very very easy guys very very easy i'm going to be showing you how to this pattern this method i'm going to show you now you can use it to this uh, to embellish the edges of your wrapper you can use it to embellish your shoke you can use it to embellish your booboo gowns whatever you want to do you can use it to cut out beautiful patterns okay so let's go right into the tutorial now the things you'll be needing you'll be needing your soldering iron this is soldering iron as you can see it's now very hot okay this is soldering iron and this you can get it from any electrical shops but please be careful not to buy the fake okay now initially i used to use the one that does not have this light you can see the light is on okay you can see the light is on so i used to have the one that does not have the light but i had to buy the one that has, so that if you mistakenly drop it and it's on you will know because this soldering iron when it's hot like this as i'm as i'm talking to you now it's very very hot okay but if you drop it you will not know and people can step on it okay so you be careful with it whenever you are using it immediately is out of use please remove it and hide it very well now who's their life now they find money so as we are looking for money let's also be very very careful right so the second thing you'll be needing is your ankara or the material that you are working on then you have to attach stay to it just to give it strength okay then the next thing you'll be needing is your board this board is to protect your own cutting table so the sodium iron does not cut through your cutting table right now what i want to do here is show you how you can use this um 
how you can use this you can use this to cut out pattern now i want to assume that i made a boba and a row and this is the wrapper now i want to embellish the edges to look like a lesser cut okay so this is the edges of my hero and boba and the beauty of this is there's nothing you cannot use this soldering iron for for your the edges of your shoke that is coming off okay you can use it to arrange it back um now i want to assume that i made hero and i made hero and boba okay and this is my wrapper and i don't want to fold the edges of my ankara i just want to give it design okay so this is the essence of it now watch what i'm going to be doing now you don't have to fear and say oh i don't know if if uh, it will lose it will not lose because as the iron is going on it is sealing it off okay but also know that this soldering iron works perfectly well on all materials on crepe on chiffon on but it does not really bring out nice effect on cutting materials okay does not really bring out on cutting materials okay you can see guys this is just a rough work so i just use the rough ankara for this Now you know when you are doing yours you have it you have to make it look neat i'm just hurrying this on this one because someone just requested for this tutorial okay someone saw me doing it in the shop and said it's good that i so guys you can imagine when the edges of your booba looks like this okay you can't imagine when the edges of your wrapper looks like this or the edges of your booboo gown the neckline looks like this you can use it to trim the neckline to look like this and then you just use tones okay <laughs> you can see it you can use you can use uh, stones to design the finish edge you can use this to carve out your neckline this is uh, some of the necklines you see you'll be wondering how they did it okay now you can use this soldering iron there are some senegalese you see you'll not be wondering how they cut out this pattern after you have laid the under with stay so that this can it will give the ankara strength you can use this I can decide that I want to use this Ankara flower to design my lace. Okay. Always lace stay at the end of it so that it will give your materials strength. So that it will give your material strength okay
guys you know i'm rushing this thing so when you are doing it you will take your time to do your work okay i'm just trying to show you what you can do to make your okay you can decide to use it to cut out it's very easy to use to cut out sharp because scissors will not give you this smooth finishing most times okay is lesser is this soldering iron that can enter into all these kind of corners i like using it because it's very simple if it were to be scissors that i'm using it won't give me these sharp cuts like this even if he has to give me i have to stay a long time on the material so i can decide to cut out these materials and then use it to design my clothes okay my lace for senegalese this is one to make your trimming you can make it for sale you can make it to use it So you can see your lace trimmings guys i did this in a rush so when you want to do yours you can as well just take your time and do it to be very neat okay you can use this to cut out your lace trimmings let's even assume that this is a this is just a rough ball gown i'm using a sample and that I want to put lace trimming at the end of it. Guys, you can see. Okay. You can see how beautiful this lace trimming is on this ball gown. You can see how beautiful it is. see you can use it to cut out beautiful lace trimmings for your for your ball gown you can see you can see okay this was a ball gown i made during one of my master classes holding so, iron has a lot of work is a must have for every fashion designer okay you can see how beautiful this lace trimming in the market is around two five because so i think it's four thousand now okay you can see very beautiful so guys do exploit people using the thin uh, cam mold to cut out please I, I don't know somebody used it and said it was shocking her so i will prefer that you use cardboard okay cardboard paper to cut out your patterns okay and place on it look for something else but don't use anything that can conduct electricity right so or you can draw it out on the on the ashoki draw out the design use your marker to draw out the design on the ashoki then you use your Do not use uh, tin because iron conducts electricity. Okay, it conducts electricity. Okay.
iron conducts electricity is very dangerous to use iron i see people using can exactly what i put on the screen now they use can please do not use this i think this is i don't know like i always used to say it might be working for anybody okay might be working for them but it's very risky to me because it's iron and it can conduct electricity you can see the mark i made on it okay instead of using iron so if you are a beginner don't go and say mama chi taught you people okay So after you have made your pattern and your soldering iron is now very hot, then you can place it, okay, and start cutting out the pattern that you already drew. So I will cut out the pattern now. I'm just trying to put it off design. So that's just I'm not just going to be very hot. Okay. You want to make this one showing on the screen? Okay, so you take your time. This one is busy. I do not advocate for team to avoid what I want to happen and then electric shock. Anything that can conduct electricity, please do not use it. I don't know. It's possible. It's just hot. Okay. It's just hot. But it's just hot. 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 So you can use your uh, fabric marker to draw out the pattern that you want. You can actually use the team, okay? But I'm just thinking of safety, okay? I'm just thinking of safety. Okay, guys, you can see our beautiful design on our showcase. Okay. So, like I said, you can make your own more beautiful than this. Okay, you can make your own more beautiful than this. This is it, all guys. Okay, so this is how to embellish your ashoke you can use this thing to embellish your ashoke this is it for the children for ankara so let's go right into it you can see you can make any design you can make somebody's head whatever thing you want to make you can make it so this is exactly how to embellish your ashoke with soldering iron and it comes out very very beautiful okay even this ones okay this is how to make it this is how we make it guys you can use this to embellish embellish the edge of your corporate wears your boo boo gowns whatever it is make it smoother because now it's already late so i'm just hurrying to finish thank you for watching this video see you guys in the next video the next video is going to be how to make beautiful color for your shirts okay and i'll be using multiple different um different colors of material in just one uh color how to mix up fabric different fabrics with different colors in one color 
okay it's not about making sewing i always used to tell you it's not about sewing but sewing with a class sewing with a difference let people be able to see your product and another product and say oh no i want this one okay so that is what we are planning here stay right tuned for our giveaway that is coming on the 23rd of march it's going to be massive thank you guys i love you